Immigrants have been the lifeblood of Canada since it began. Dr. K.W. Michael Sioux is a classic example of immigrant success. I went to uh, the University of Hong Kong in 1973 and got my Bachelor of Science you know, degree and then I uh, decided to go to, um, to, go to England, uh, University of Birmingham, to do my uh, master degrees in analytical chemistry. And after that, I thought it would be you know, a neat and cool idea to get my PhD. So I looked for various opportunities in, uh, in Canada and uh, I decided to go to uh, Dalhousie University in, in Halifax. And so in the fall of 1977, uh, Peggy and I, Peggy's my wife, uh, we landed in, um, in Halifax and uh, opened up, I guess, a new chapter in our lives in Canada. Michael and Peggy faced normal challenges, language barriers, different culture, not enough money, but with their positive outlook, they quickly made friends and settled into their new life. Dr. Siu graduated in 1981 and accepted a research associateship with the National Research Council in Ottawa. Well, the research associateship was uh, initially a two-year uh, appointment. And uh, so after one year, I was fortunate enough uh, uh, that uh, NRC decided to offer me a permanent position. So, so what that obviously meant was that, uh, you know, I uh, could, uh, I guess, apply to become uh, an immigrant. So after, I think, three years, uh, um, then uh, that opportunity obviously arose for me to become a Canadian uh, citizen. So I applied right away. So I'm now a, 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 a you know, Canadian. Michael rose through the ranks and was senior research officer when he left for York University in 1998. A colleague of mine uh, here at York and I were thinking about strengthening uh, a certain research area within our department. And so we uh, initiated a... Uh, a um, a move to try to bring him, Michael Sue, to to York. He was uh, in Ottawa at the time, at the National Research Council. So we were impressed enough by his research abilities to try to bring him to York. Today, Dr. Siu is a professor of chemistry and a research chair. He's associate vice president of research, science, and technology and the director of the Center for Research in Mass Spectrometry at York University. Research in mass spectrometry has become an increasingly important and multidisciplinary scientific activity worldwide. Mass spectrometry can be used to measure and, and find out uh, what kind of you know, pollutants there are uh, in the environment. Now, you know, my major interest is in biological mass spectrometry. I've entered into a, a collaboration with um, uh, clinicians uh, in the local hospitals. So what we're doing is to use mass spectrometry to uh, discover and identify uh, cancer biomarkers, especially in endometrial cancer. So cancer biomarkers are very, very important because they are tools that can potentially allow us to differentiate okay, um, between a cancer uh, patient and, uh, a, 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 well, and a, a normal person. From 1988 to 1998, Dr. Sue served on the executive committee in the analytical chemistry division of the Canadian Society for Chemistry. He's received numerous awards and distinctions, including in 2006, the prestigious Maxim Award from the Canadian Society for Chemistry. In addition to his work, Dr. Sue is actively involved in the community. His research group at York University comprises many immigrants and former immigrants. I'm very pleased that, that uh, once in a while uh, they let me know how they are doing and sometimes they come back uh, for, for advice. So I'm very pleased to be able to help them out. And it's just a fantastic feeling. It's, uh, it's, it's one of the rewards to be actually uh, and a privilege, uh, you know, to be um, able to actually to be a part of their, you know, their lives and to be able to help them out. So it's, it's, it's a great feeling. A true success story, Dr. Siu has enriched us with his ideas, energy, 
and commitment. In a space of, of uh, 30 years, but I, I would say especially the last nine years at York, he uh, transformed himself from, from well, into a, 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 a world leader in, in, in his field. So that's, that's a fairly remarkable success story.